six, seven seconds left? Or what's your thought process at that point after they tied it? Seemed like every time they would cut into your lead early in that second half, midway through the second half, you guys would answer. Uh, did you learn something about yourselves today a, a little bit? I mean, young guys coming in here is tough, right? Coach, coach has confidence in us. Um, he told us everything they expect, and it was up to us at that point, being on the court. I mean, coach laid out a, a great game plan. I don't know if you guys watched the game, but I, it, I think it was a great game plan. Uh, I credit a lot of our success to him. And, being able to battle back from adversity from training camp and preseason. It's just great to have a coach like Coach Haas over here. Coach, what was it like for you coming back to for you? It's a long answer. Um, that great experiences. Uh, and it is always emotional for a variety of reasons. During the game, certainly uh, was able to lose myself in the game, and uh, so excited to be honest with you with, with what we're doing, Sanford. Uh, even when we <laughs> stumped it up this year, uh, really believe in what we're doing. But coming here is always a, always uh, meaningful. My oldest son's middle name is Lawrence. Uh, met my wife here. I had great experiences here. Uh, having said that, uh, it's been a while since I've been back and walked through campus. And, all the memories are wonderful. I think in large part, I am today who I am because of my experience here. Um, I also love, uh, love what we're doing at Stanford too. So certainly emotional, but I think once we got into the game, I was, uh, I was certainly locked in. Coach, how did the effort that your players showed today personify who you are as a coach and who you were as a player? Do we have any other questions for the student athletes? Thanks, guys. the most meaningful to me maybe the world is proud or pride and uh, certainly proud of the team tonight. Uh, we played extremely hard and, and not just physically but I think mentally. Uh, we're playing largely with freshmen and sophomores that certainly haven't been in this experience and uh, hadn't seen that before. Uh, they bought into the game plan. They tried to execute the game plan the best, the best they could, possibly could and, and competed. And the coolest part is they, uh, they believed in me. They believed in the plan and uh, and they gave it their best. What did you think of uh, your and just kind of the one he was on after he got home for his new check? Yeah, he's fantastic. He made a big, big time place. Um, I mean, there's, uh, there's only a few guys in the country that could probably do that. Uh, I would guess that if you ask Coach Self, he's going to talk about his work ethic and the time he put in the offseason. And uh, guys that are doing things like that have put in the work, and I would imagine that's the case with him. Uh, he made tremendous plays. Not only really the last shot of the game, but throughout the, the end of the game. And, uh, and obviously, we didn't do execute that part of the plan effectively. Um, and part of that is uh, on us, but also part of it is the actual player. Did you give any consideration to not letting them get a three off there to tie, or how did you guys want to play that? Well, all the consideration was not to let them get a three off. Uh, I personally have a philosophy on when to foul. Yeah. Um, it was uh, well before. My plan, you know, the, the thing is, if we, I think we had a chance to execute it better. The fact is, it's an unbelievable shot. And the fact is, we had quite a bit of time. We didn't work really effective once we got the ball back, but I think it was seven, eight seconds uh, to be able to get all the way down the court again. And so uh, I do have a plan, a, a personal um, belief uh, in when to foul. And it was well over that number. Uh, we go out there and do it again, I'll probably, probably foul. But, but I, I, I'll, I'll probably second guess uh, certain things, but to be honest with you, that's one I won't. How effective did you think uh, the point guard Devon Dotson was? And did you see 
did he look maybe even a little bit more effective than he had in the early games earlier this year? I thought he played well. I think he has control of the game. Um, you know, good assist turnover ratio gets him into their offense. I, I, I like him a lot. And I think he's going to be a heck of a player here for, for a long time. Coach, you, your team's not necessarily known for its three-point shooting prowess, but you guys still made 12 today. Um, did that kind of factor into your game plan, maybe to shoot more threes today? Or? I don't think the intent was to shoot more threes, but to shoot the right three, threes at the right time. Um, I would say it's, it's way too early to talk about um, who we are and what we're going to be this year. And obviously, we haven't shot the ball well leading up to this game, and uh, we made some this game and probably shot more than we normally do. Um, but I think our team is a it's a work in progress right now. And I think what you see at the end of the year is probably going to be different from what you see right now uh, as the guys develop and, and uh, work into their roles and, and we grow as a team. Jared, I think walking to the, the, to the tunnel, I don't think I saw you blink once, just kind of a laser focus. I just wonder what goes through your mind after. After that one, what are the thoughts in the immediate aftermath there? There's a lot of thoughts. I think um, I've been around here long enough to know that these opportunities don't happen very often. Um, and in life, you know, I mean, when you get these opportunities, you want to take advantage of them. And the reality is, we're in a situation in this profession that uh, maybe you get more than uh, than other people, but you want to take advantage of those opportunities, and we didn't. Um, and while that was probably my first thought, uh, the lingering thought, and the thought that I'm going to continue with is how proud I am of the guys. It went small about halfway through the second half and kind of most of the comeback and you know, finally taking the overtime. But what do you think that did? How, how do you think that kind of changed the game? Well, I think I think it impacted the game. I, you know, I, I thought our guys uh, really fought and did a nice job on us, Buki, um, even though he was obviously effective and a heck of a player, but I like the way they really competed down there. Um, you know, they're a little bit like us. They can go big and small. And uh, every game, I think there will always be ebbs and flows, and it's kind of a, a little bit of a chess match there. And um, I think it was effective for them at times. Um, but it's hard to say that Razabuki uh, wasn't effective when they were big as well. Any other questions? Thanks a lot, Coach.